Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this uh, very cool animation uh, using uh, Cinema 4D. So, as you can see here, I'm using a Brony Fractor. Uh, right now, I'm using a Cinema 4D R19, so make sure you have it. And uh, as you can see, here is a very, very cool. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to import my footage and just go to File, New and create new material and uh, import your footage your file and then load image and I'm just going to my footage uh, where is it footage uh, here we go footage footage last one and open and no so I'm going to tweak uh, the animation here start frame I'm going to uh, maybe from frame 40 let's take a look and maybe let's create a background and apply this material to the background so we can see uh, make sure you check animate preview here and you will start be able to see the animation there oh no I will change this to 300 and here we go we have animation that's uh, very cool. I will increase this uh, the end frame to maybe 300. And let's take a look what we have. And I think that's uh, very cool. Maybe I will stop right here. Maybe 250. Okay, that's it. And we'll close that and let's change this to 250. Here we go. We have a uh, uh, footage now we can create a camera and let's move it same perspective with uh, our footage the lip match and the best way is you need to add floor and just try to match it manually like so and I want to see access over there as you can see it's make it makes easier to understand so here we go I think that's a uh, nice and right click and I'm going to add protection so we can move our camera that's enough okay uh, let's uh, uh, let's adjust the lightning first so I'm going to get the cube uh, over here maybe like so and uh, yeah I think that's it Supply the material to the floor and change the projection to the frontal and create new material. Apply this to the cube and let's uh, create a physical sky. Uh, right click in the physical cat. We're gonna add a compositing tag so we don't want to see the sky and just uncheck in with camera. It's pretty easy. Okay, to adjust the shadow. Uh, to match with uh, our footage so going to uh, option and shadow here we go so now we can adjust the shadow very easy as you can see with our live action there and uh, you know I think that's that's it and uh, okay that's it Okay, let's try to render this. Okay, I think we have a very nice result there. Okay, the next step is I want to, uh, I don't want to see this uh, blurry shadow. I want to delete it. So good visual sky. So problem with uh, here we go sky resolution correction thanks to zero, and. Okay, the next step is we're gonna add ambient occlusion. Go to fat ambient occlusion, and you will see the air over there. Looks uh, very nice. And the next step is we want to add. Uh, I want to do simulation. So let's uh, just hide this cube, and I want to merge a object. Here I have a lion. Hit open lion statue, and uh, hit OK. And as you can see, it's very tiny lion there. And I'm just going to increase this the size, but uh, I want to 
uh, I know it is exit center and this is skewed and make sure in the middle of a uh, in the middle of center okay I'm just going to make it bigger and I'm just going to place this right in front of uh, this guy like so and when we lose this uh, shadow we can see the shadow and just move the floor like so and uh, I think that's a uh, very nice you know, just make sure it's above the ground and let's take a look at this guy uh, kicking this okay that's it maybe just push it back just a bit maybe over here okay I think that's it the next step is you want to run it this uh, this uh, lion to call this lion lion like so and just going to graph and uh, here we have for an effect or it's a very very cool uh, mograph allows us to break anything and uh, yeah I think that's it as you can see we have a little problem here uh, we have a sort of a flickering mesh I don't know what is this but I'm just going to turn off it's a uh, flickering I'm just going to turn off the shadow as you can see we have a sort of a flickering uh, polygon there so what's happening here I don't know but I know to solve this problem so it's very easy just go to for a fracture if you if you get this situation and just go to a uh, hollow object and check the optimize optimize and close hole so it process there and as you can see it looks uh, there's no uh, flickering mesh anymore so as you can see it looks uh, very nice Okay, the next step is you want to increase the source particle or uh, source uh, points generator. I'm just going to increase this like uh, uh, 250, maybe this moment. In this case, I think that's very nice. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the. Uh, you can add detailing if you want, but uh, I don't need it right now. So maybe. I'm going just going to turn off the colors fragment. Looks better. Okay, let's simulate this. So we're going to right click and simulation text, and we're gonna add rigid body. And for the for the floor itself, we're going to use uh, colored body. Okay, uh, when we play this sim, just uh, fall apart. And uh, how do we fix this? So here we have a very cool. Uh, feature called a uh, call connector so basically it will create a glue bit between uh, among the pieces so it looks very nice so we create the glue and as you can see it looks uh, sort of bunching just a bit but doesn't matter so we can fix this sort of a bunching moment and maybe we'll adjust this as you can see Move it up right uh, above the mesh. You have to make sure about this thing. And uh, where's the where's the floor? I mean, floor. Here we go. We can see floor. Let's can see floor over here. And uh, I'm just going to move it down. Okay, I think that's very nice. The next step is go back to perspective view. Let's see what we have. Okay, let's uh, and uh, as you can see, there is no bunching. Okay, the next step is to, if you want to make sure, you can just go to the. If you want to make sure there is no bunching, so you go to a uh, rigid body, a dynamic body, and go to dynamics and set initial state. It's a very cool feature. So now. Okay, so now it's a uh, there's no movement. Maybe I think I think that's good. Okay, the next step is uh, we want to create the collider, uh, the the kicker, 
uh, the destroyer I don't know maybe create a cube and uh, I'm just going to turn off this this uh, this uh, floor for a moment okay I'm just going to move this over here this will be the the uh, what the the food the sky so I think that's very nice let's animate this cube in the uh, in the axis so go back to the camera and turn on the background so here we go we're going to animate this so let's animate so it's just going to scrap timeline till before it kicks maybe right here and set keyframe for the cube we call this a call call leader kicker I don't know I'm not a native analyst so just let it okay and the uh, set the keyframe and just move it and then move it like so until it just just a bit there okay I think that's enough maybe I will push it back oh push it yeah forward just a bit and you can play around with this until okay the next step is right click and similar syntax call your body and see what we get oh no till frame zero of course oh it touch being right now I think yeah that's it push it back just a bit for here and uh, just uh, replace the keyframe and here we go okay let's uh, take a look we have maybe from the frame let's start to kick the ball And here we go. It's very slow. Yeah, that's it. I think I think you'll get the idea what I'm doing here. Okay, the next step is uh, if you want to get more friction, and just go to the the floor and just increase the collision like 250, and uh, the lion, the Verona fracture dynamic body tag in 250 also. So it's uh, we have a very high of friction now. So I'm just going to let's see what we have. Okay, that's it. I think that's very cool. Okay, the next step is uh, just part of the simulation. We can have a very cool result, and just pick this. Uh, Simulation and uh, okay, I think that's enough. We can scrap the timeline now easily. We have a very cool animation. If you want to hide this cube from the render and just turn off this uh, quality kicker because now it's uh, already baked, so you know that's it. Now when we render this, we have a very cool result, as you can see, you know, you can play around with the lighting to make it more realistic. And uh, that's it, I've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, we'll see you later.